This morning in today's food, we're putting a flavorful spin on a classic dish. Kwame Anwachi is the James Beard award-winning chef and restaurateur behind New York City Hotspot. That's cool. Tatiana by Kwame Anwachi. And last week, he opened Dogon, a new Afro-Caribbean restaurant in D.C., highlighting the history and culture of the district. Ooh. And he's making one of his favorite dishes from the menu just for us. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Congratulations thank on you. the oh, buzziest so spot. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody we, tries to get in. What does that feel like? Yeah. That. It feels good as a burden, for sure. Yeah. You know, everybody's always hitting you up, but that's, like a, that's like a really great problem. To have there you go. Yeah, burden and a triumph. Yeah. So we're so, lucky. Yeah, yes. what are you going to show us? So, uh, so today I'm going to show you one of my favorite dishes on the menu. Uh, it's called H Street Chicken and Rice. Okay. Mm. So, you know, you can't really talk about D.C. without all the cultures that mm. influence. And D.C. has the largest of population of, you know, Ethiopian people outside of Ethiopia mm -hmm. and that DMV area. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. So I wanted to pay homage to that, like, okay. like most of our dishes on the menu, and cook a dish that reflects that culture. Okay. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Let's start. So we got to start with the seasoning. So we have, like, an array of spices from cardamom to allspice to cumin, cinnamon, mm. and we simmer that in oil, mm -hmm. and that creates this, oh, wow. which is uh, nita kibe, which is an Ethiopian, like, spice what? butter. Yeah, pour it on. Please, okay. please. Mm. So we have that on there. That's secret number one. Secret number one. <laughs> and then we have an Ethiopian spice blend called bedbere. Can and I try it? Yeah, it's really, it really good. It smells so rich. Yeah, it's it's great. So we let that permeate the, the chicken oh for a day, you know? We oh, put, wow. Yeah, we put a lot of seasoning good. on that. I also I, I like to use a lot of yeah, seasoning, that's good. so yeah. I don't you want know to how much chicken to make for the next day. Uh, you know, we, we check our pars based on how many people come yeah. in. Um, Every table's full. <laughs> exactly. And then we roast some vegetables, some bell pepper, onion, tomatoes, uh, ginger, garlic, mm. and we make a puree with that and this wow. goes to make our rice. This is okay. why everything has yeah. such la layers mm -hmm. to it. Right. So then we have like tomato paste, scotch I'm bonnet, cheating. some Maggie. Ooh, so it's spicy. And then we cook it down until it looks like this. Now oh, this wow. is our stew for our jollof rice. Hmm. So we add this to some parched rice. You want to mix it in what a little bit? Rice? So it's cooking it in fat. It's coating each individual grain okay. with a little bit of fat so it cooks a little bit more even. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> you skip to the end. No, you skip yeah. to the end. Delicious. <laughs> and then, you know, we have our rice cooked. We had some seafood stock or, you know, if you have some leftover shrimp shells, you can add that to the pot, which is right pot. here. Okay, so pour mm -hmm. this Pour in. that right this in. in. Okay. Exactly. And you made it, actually, if people don't eat chicken or meat and eat you fish, you made it with shrimp Absolutely. as well? Absolutely. Dude. It's amazing. Oh, you already skipped to the I, end. We couldn't help it. Like, it was just What's that? So then we make a little herb so salad, delicious. some mint, uh, some basil, some fennel, some dill, um, some raw, uh, raw red uh, white onions. Okay. I can't even speak this morning. And then what'd you pour <laughs> in there? What was that? So that's a little bit of lemon juice and a little bit more of that oil that I made earlier. Mm. The oil from the... The spiced oh, oil, yes. So we make a little salad? herb salad. Mm. So we put the chicken on top of the rice. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Yeah. You have How long does the chicken cook for? The chicken cooks uh, 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. Oh, wow. And then it's a super refreshing, but so much depth of flavor that pays homage to, like, West African culture and East African culture. You can literally taste the layers and the yeah. time. The thing I love is the rice is spicy, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but then the salad cools you right yeah, down. Yeah, exactly. You've got it all planned out. Yeah. This is yeah. delicious. Thank you Thank so you. much. And I think we have a visitor coming to oh, you. Oh, yeah, I'm You're coming. coming. Everybody, everybody is welcome at Dogon. So everybody go. pull up. Oh, don't Thank you worry. Yes, we'll in the there. Salamander <laughs> Hotel in that. Washington, D.C. If you build, they will come. Thank you so much. Absolutely to delicious. save your favorite recipes from the show, scan the QR code and head to today.com slash food to get this recipe and set up your free. Free account. We'll be right back. Congratulations. Congratulations.